Hi, I'm Shoshana Siegel, and I'm here today on Illumination Station to talk about an important new document from the IES. It's RP42. It encompasses designations for control methods and protocols. The reason that we authored this document as a committee was because we felt that we needed a national standard, as all IES documents are, to help explain different ways of controlling both legacy and LED sources. As you probably know, today's control systems are getting much more complex, and it's not uncommon to have a variety of different ways to control the same source. Like all IES documents, RP42 was developed by a committee of volunteers who devoted their time as industry experts. The document includes a table that describes the most common open source protocols used to control both solid state and legacy sources. And it also includes examples of how designations should be included in both manufacturer's cut sheets and specifier's fixture schedules. This is not a document that tells you how to specify, but simply how to call out the specification so that you make sure that what you put on your product or what you put in your project is what shows up on the job site. One of the most important things that this document provides is a way out of using the really unhelpful designation dimmable when you're talking about an LED source. It allows you to give concise information that describes how you're controlling the source and what the source needs to do. In addition to sample cut sheets, schedules, and specifications, the document includes definitions that help explain the differences among many of the most commonly used protocols. Thanks very much to the folks at Illumination Stations for giving us this opportunity to talk about this important new document. Hope to see you soon. Thanks, be well.